Our other top story tonight, federal authorities are sending a stern message after a $20 million settlement involving Sanford Health. Court documents filed today say Sanford will pay that money for kickback schemes involving Dr. Wilson as far as medical devices. According to the agreement, Sanford Health was aware that Dr. Asfora was improperly profiting by using implant devices in surgery he had designed and sold. He was making a profit from the bullet cages, cervical plates, Samba screws, and Aegis devices. Sanford was also warned many of Dr. Asfora's surgical procedures involving those devices were unnecessary. The settlement goes on to say that Sanford also knew that Asfora was profiting by submitting claims to federal health programs. Claims went to Medicare, Medicaid, TRICARE, and the VA. This afternoon, the assistant attorney general released a statement saying situations like these can increase health care costs for everyone and that the government will continue to hold health care providers accountable. Sanford Health denies any wrongdoing. Sanford says it fired Dr. Asfora in September and has taken steps to stop all Sanford doctors from profiting from their choice of medical devices. The federal lawsuit was started in 2016 by two whistleblowers, Dr. Dustin Bechtold and Dr. Brian Wellman. They will each get $3.4 million as part of the settlement. Today, we also heard from Dr. Asfora for the first time. We have posted his full statement under this story on Kevaland.com.